Hello and welcome to the consoletraining.com Grand MA2 LED tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to put bitmaps onto LED fixtures in Grand MA2 with MA3D attached. Uh, obviously there aren't many situations where you'd be driving your LED panels via DMX because they consume a massive amount of channels, but for those playing at home or those with very small LED setups, uh, you can do it anyway. Uh, personally, I would use a media server, but it seems to be a highly demanded thing, so we're going to make a video on it. So, here we have our LED panels. Uh, I'll bring some point light colour up. Here you can see we've got two banks, five by ten. And we can see in the groups that we have... Uh, our three groups down the bottom, opposite prompt, prompt LED, and main LED. Main LED is both screens, and that's what we will be programming with today. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create a scene, and all that has, not a scene, a executor playback, and all it is is those panels running at 100%. So, we bring them up. The guide that I'll link you to, anime editor, GrandMA has a fantastic but very short written tutorial on how to do this. It took me about 40 minutes to work out, which is way longer than it should have. Um, and I'll explain why shortly, but I thought a video would help you all. And there doesn't appear to actually be one out there currently. So, help the community at the same time. So, we have our LED fixtures selected. We've got the dimmer, and only the dimmer, running at 100. We then click Store. Executor 1. And we click on that, and we click Overwrite. I had something else there, but that will also work. So now, if we clear this, we can see that we still have control, but now we've got it in an executive fader, which is fantastic. Now, with those panels still selected, we then Go store. I'm doing this off memory. I probably should open the guide. But we go store, and we click effect twice, and you'll see that it changes to down the bottom. This is your command line. I'll do a command line tutorial at some point as well, because I'm starting to reference things in the command line, even though I haven't taught anything of that. So we can see that it says store bitmap because I clicked effect twice, which is a shortcut. You could also type this all in, and then we click one and we'll see that it appears in our bitmap things. We then want to record that also to an executive fader. So we click assign, we once again you can type all this, bitmap1, and we click executor fader. And now we can edit it. So we right click on this, and we grab a file, I'll grab just one of the stock ones, and then you select, oh I didn't select my panels did I, uh, and we set this to 128 as per the guide, and 128, and I believe I didn't do it correctly, oh no, there we go, and there we can see, once I click the on button we've got a bitmap running and we can see that it's scrolling through at the top there. If we right click again on this and we go modulator sheets we can shoot and this is exactly like the effects in the normal effects menu in MA1 uh, we can change the way it's doing so we can make it rotate so we'll set this to 100 and it'll now rotate we can see a preview of down there it's not very very uh, fluent but we can see that it's running there uh, we can also scale to fit, rotate left, scroll, scroll up, disable scrolling, so we'll set it to just roll left and zoom out. We can also color correct it if we really want. And there you go, that's recording an LED mapping. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at contact at consultraining.com 
And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thankfully it's a short one, instead of being one of my 15 minute long ones. But hopefully I should answer your questions. I'll, uh, I'll leave a link to the MA tutorial text in the bottom of the video description.